for readable Krauss Titans. Round 5 of the Pro Tire Motorsport UK Asphalt Championship would head to Northern Ireland and the Down Rally. Damien Cole leads the championship cruise away and in the absence of Jason Pritchard this weekend, it would be a good event for him to try and increase that advantage at the top of the championship standings. On to the morning stages and it would be John Stone and Jack Morton taking the lead. They make a big push on the opening stage of the day to set out their advantage and maintain that throughout the morning. For Damien Cole and Paul Spooner, it would be second. They had a slow start on stage one for reasons they couldn't pinpoint and spent the rest of the morning trying to chase down the rally leaders with no success. This would be the local event for John Devlin and John McCarthy. A good score in the Isle of Man had given John some championship points to work with. And with the B11 class lead here this weekend, it was looking good for some more points to add to the tally. But there would be problems for Wayne Sisson and Michael Hendry, the suspension breaking on the Evo and sending them spinning down the stage. Luckily, it was in the short spectator stage prior to going straight into service and the pair were able to get themselves back without too much time lost before fixing the car and getting back out again. Fourth place for now and leading the B14 class for the pair. Ross Bresby and Dave Robson have a good run over the morning stages. No problems for the pair as they take the early lead in the B13 class with fifth overall. This would be the first event in Northern Ireland for Darren Atkinson and Phil Sandin. They get a penalty in the morning for an early arrival which would set them back a little. Second in the B13 class and sixth overall. James Ford and Michael Gilby join the championship this weekend. They have a close call in the morning stages when they go wide over a jump and take out a fence post. They lie third in the B13 class at this stage. Alan Kokori and Richard Crozier wouldn't be having a clean run. The master switch turning itself off over the big jump and they have to coast to the junction and get out to reset it. They still lead the R5 class though in 8th overall. Second in that class would be Chris Ford and Neil Coleman. They had a fresh new engine rebuild ready for this round and will be having a clean run so far today. And rounding out the top 10 would be Di Roberts and Pete Fenner joining the championship this weekend and leading the B10 class. Di had navigated on this stage in the past, but this would be the first time as a driver. This would be the first rally in Northern Ireland for William Mays with Claire Williams alongside once again. Things were going well for the pair as they lead the class once again in the Nova. So with the morning stages complete, the results at the top look like this. On to the afternoon stages then, and there would be no change for Mike Pugsley and Mark Clapworthy, all going okay in the afternoon, to take the class win and 12th place. And a similar story for William Maines and Claire Williams, the class win was theirs, as well as 11th overall. Di Roberts and Pete Fenner round out the top 10 overall, taking the B10 class win as well in the Peugeot 205. No problems for Chris Ford and Neil Coleman. They have a good, tidy run to take ninth overall and second in the R5 class. For Chris's son James with Michael Gilby alongside, it would be third in the B13 class. 
A spin in the final stages would cause a few seconds lost, but it was all okay. And an alternator problem on the road section to the final stage would be a bit of a scare for Darren Atkinson and Phil Sandem. They do fix it though and continue to end the event with second in the B13 class. No problems for Alan Kokori and Richard Crozier. The R5 class win was theirs and the pair had a nice clean run to take sixth overall, giving them second place in the championship standings after this round. No more issues in the afternoon for Wayne Sisson and Michael Hendry. They have a good few stages to take the B14 class win in the Evo and move them up to fourth place in the championship standing. Ross Bresby and Dave Robson had experience in Ireland already and things seem to go well on the stages. They take the B13 class win as well as fourth overall. On to the podium places then and it would be the B11 class win and third overall for John Devlin and John McCarthy. A great result for the local driver and putting them in the lead of the class overall this season. There would be nothing that Damien Cole and Paul Spooner could do to take the win this weekend. They kept the pressure on but it wasn't enough. Second place though would keep Damien at the top of the championship standings going into his local event, the Mueller Rally. But this weekend it would be a delighted John Stone and Jack Morton who take the win. The result would move them into sixth in the championship standings and with drop scores to take into account, Stone would be a serious contender for the title. So confirmation then of the results here at the end of a tough and challenging down rally. Cole's second place ensures he stays at the top of the standings where he wanted to be. But with two more rounds to go, anything could happen. Congratulations, John. A fantastic day for you, really. Yeah, brilliant, really. Um, couldn't have gone any better. The car was just superb today and uh, felt felt I drove OK. You know, I, I didn't sort of push it, um, but it was fairly quick. So, yeah, it was good. Brilliant. I have to say, I did say earlier, you seem to be the happiest man in the entire field. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, I mean, how can you not be happy? The stages are just superb, uh, really, really good. And I'm happy because the you know the lads have worked so hard on the car. Um, you know, it's not it's not a professional operation. It's lads who build gas fires. You know, and it's the the cars prepared next to our gas fire assembly, and uh, it's just a, a brilliant achievement. You had a little ding dong with Damien as well, which must have been quite nice. Yeah, it's great. I mean, Jamie's a gentleman, uh, and uh, we've been battling for a long, long time. And uh, it's not often I beat him, so uh, and he's been very gracious in defeat as well. So that's good. Round six of the championship would head back to where it all began. This time for the Mueller Rally, and it would be the usual contenders heading the field away on this unusually warm Epping event. On to the morning stages and there would be a determination to win this weekend for Damien Cole and Paul Spooner. Straight out of the blocks with a fantastic pace to take the lead by the end of the morning. For Jason Pritchard and Phil Clark it would be second. Not happy with how the car was running. The pair were trying to adjust the ECU in service each time, sadly with little effect. New suspension on the car this weekend for Alan Kakodi and Cameron Fair had transformed it and would allow the pair to start the day with third place on the overall results. Bob Fowden and Den Golding returned to the stages this weekend, probably the most experienced crew on the entry list and they were going well. A bit of a moment on one of the stages would drop them from second to fourth place though. John Stone returns with new co-driver Michael Gilby alongside. Things were going well for the Legends fire crew as they end the morning happy in fifth place. This would be the first event back after a year for Richard Clues with Sean Leyland alongside. They lead the way in the class and lie in sixth place overall for now. The last time Darren Atkinson and Phil Sandham turned a wheel on these stages would have been back in 2014. But they were still going well despite the lack of experience on them. 
leading the way in B13 and in 7th overall. This would be John Devlin and John McCarthy's first time on Epping and they were trusting the notes well, going fastest in the B11 class and ending the morning with 9th. Just behind them in the class would be Graham Hollis and Ashley Trimble. Ashley looking to secure the co-drivers B11 class championship this weekend too. Gary Lequado and Bill Painter were having a small issue on the ex Danny Sordor Hyundai, the launch control not working properly and causing them to stall off the line. They end the morning with fifth in the class. Things were going well for Riddian Daniels and Thomas Whittle. Right up to the last stage of the morning, the car developing a misfire and causing them a scare. They do get it sorted in service, though, ready for the afternoon. Chris Ford and Neil Coleman would lose a chunk of time with a puncher on this morning's stage, ending the morning with 13th place overall. For Di Roberts and Pete Fenner, it would be second in the B10 class, coming here off the back of a great finish on the previous round too. William Mays and Shine Jones would wish for more power on the longer stretches of the stage, but they were making do with what they had and leading the class in the Nova. Jeff Glover and Keith Barker would have a bit of a moment in the opening stage. Thankfully, nothing to worry about, and the pair end the morning with third in the B11 class. It would be a multitude of problems for Adrian Drury and Kat Lund. An oil leak on the exhaust and a loss of first and second gears would contribute towards the trouble-filled morning for the pair. And there would be problems too for Mike Pugsley and Mark Clapworthy, pulling the car off the stage when they have engine problems. They had already claimed the B12 class for the season, so this wouldn't affect the championship. They do get things fixed and super rally after missing a few stages. And we would lose Paul and Julian Doroschuk. Sadly, they call it a day on stage four when the alternator bolt sheared on the escort. So midway through the penultimate round here at the Muna Rally and the results at the top look like this. On to the afternoon stages and it would be a finish for Adrian Drury and Kat Lund, though it wouldn't be without more problems. A crank sensor issue, the latest threat to their event. They take third in the B10 class though. For Jeff Glover and Keith Barker it would be third in the B11 class. An oil leak later in the day would provide a worry but thankfully didn't turn into anything terminal. A faultless drive this weekend would see William Mains and Sean Jones take the class win. The result also securing William the class title for the season. Di Roberts and Pete Penner would have to back off a little at one point when the bonnet pin broke on the 205. Thankfully, that was the only problem. They take second in the B10 class this weekend. For Chris Ford and Neil Coleman, it would be 11th. A steady run over the stages would see them hold on to that place throughout the event. With the problem fixed, it would be a trouble-free run in the afternoon for Ridian Daniels and Thomas Whistle, taking the B10 class win and securing that class title in the championship as well. For Graham Hollis and Ashley Trimble, it would be 9th taking second in the B11 class as well. That result also securing Ashley the class co-driver award for the season. Gary Lequado and Bill Painter would be working around the launch issue by starting the stage in road mode before changing to stage mode. Not ideal, but it was better than stalling the car. They end the event with eighth overall. It would be a great debut on these stages for John Devlin and John McCarthy. They take the B11 class win, securing that title for John for 2019 as well. We would sadly lose Richard Clues and Sean Leyland from the results. They complete the stage, but the car would overheat on the road section to the finish. A cruel end to the event for the pair. It would be a successful weekend for Darren Atkinson and Phil Sandham. 
They take the B13 class win this weekend, as well as securing that class title for the season on this penultimate round. A bit of a moment on the final stage would be the only problems for John Stone and Michael Gilby. The chance of the championship win had gone, but second place at the final round was still a possibility for the Fiesta driver. Unfortunately, Alan Kakodi and Cameron Fair drop off the podium in the afternoon stages. A great end to the event, though, with fourth overall, taking the R5 class win on the event and indeed for the season two. So that change on the podium was due to Bob Fowden and Den Golding climbing back up the results and into third place overall. A great end for the pair who was straight back on the pace this weekend. Sadly, there would be nothing that Jason Pritchard and Phil Clark could do to take the lead. They would have to settle for second place this time round. But this result does keep them in the running for the title at the final round on Otterburn. So that means it's the win this weekend for Damien Cole and Paul Spooner. A record for Damien, now equalling the Epin win record, previously sent by John Price. This win also keeps the championship going into the final round, where it would be the winner takes all for the title. So confirmation then of the final results here on the penultimate round of the Pro Tire Motorsport UK Asphalt Rally Championship. The points table will see Cole leading the way into the final round, but with drop scores taken into account, it would be a Cole and Pritchard battle to the finish as the championship moves north. Well, a cracking result here on the Moola. Fair play, you are the king of Epping today. Yeah, it handled really well today. Um, James Morgan gave us a, a bit of a hand on the flatters with the setup, and it's made a massive difference to it. And it's so much better to drive now. It's much more stable, and you can push in the fast corners. It breaks better. It is just a much better package now. You've enjoyed it today with Paul Spooner in there, the old boy. Yeah, good. We won the uh, the first time I won the Mueller was in 2008 with Paul in the Hyundai World Rally car. So we've done it again 11 years later. Happy then, really good. Good points for the championship as well. Makes the Chevy much more interesting. Yes, it's now uh, winner takes all on the on the TV at now. The final round of the series would see a smaller championship entry due to many classes already decided on the previous round. The biggest battle though was still to be decided between Damien Cole and our defending champion Jason Pritchard, who still had to fight it out for that championship victory. On to the morning stages then, and it would be the lead for Alan Kokodi and Cameron Fair. They have been equaling the times of Damien Cole on the opening loop before pulling out an advantage over the next few stages. So that would leave Damien Cole and Andrew Ruffhead in second place for now. Damien comes into this round with a championship lead, but with drop scores taken into account, there was a good chance he and Jason Pritchard could tie on points this weekend, and the winner would be decided on their stage one performance. Luckily for Cole, he would be two seconds faster than Pritchard over the opening stage, meaning that if it ended up as a tie, he would be handed the victory. Jason Pritchard and Phil Clark thought they had fixed the running issues from the previous round, but the car still didn't seem to be running right. They get through the morning stages though, with third place, just 14 seconds back from Cole. Things were going well for John Stone and Michael Gilby, no problems and the pair were on the pace from the start. Fourth place overall for now. Chris Ford and Neil Coleman would lose the brakes in stage two. A worrying moment for the pair at the end of a long straight. They slipped down the overall results, but as far as the championship was concerned, it would be fifth for now. Once again, Ridian Daniels and Thomas Whittle were leading the B10 class. And in fact, would be the only ones left in it after Adrian Drury would retire just off the start line of the opening stage. A trouble-free run for the Welsh pair at this stage. And it would be a trouble-free run as well for Jeff Glover and Keith Barker, leading the way in the B11 class this morning. So with the morning stages complete on the Cheviot stages, the results look like this. On to the final stages of the season then, and it would be the B11 class win for Jeff Glover and Keith Barker. 
a result that secures them second in the class championship for the season. A successful weekend for Rinian Daniels and Thomas Whittle will see them end the season with a perfect score. They already had the class win for the season, but this weekend would mean they now do that with five wins. Thankfully, there would be no more problems in the afternoon for Chris Ford and Neil Coleman. They remain where they were to take fifth place. John Stone and Michael Gilby finished the season off well with fourth place this weekend, allowing them to take the final step on the podium in the championship. This gives them a goal of two places to gain when they return for next season. For Jason Pritchard and Phil Clark, it would be third this weekend. The result would throw some confusion around in the service area as people wondered how the winner-takes-all scenario would work if neither of the contenders actually won. Damien Cole and Andrew Ruffhead, of course, would be running in second place overall still and over the afternoon stages wouldn't be able to catch the leaders to take the win. Second place was theirs. They beat Pritchard out there on the stages, but Cole needed the extra point for a win and not second place, meaning that he finishes one point behind the reigning champion, missing out on victory in the championship by just three seconds. So with Pritchard taking his second championship win and Cole runner-up, it would leave Alan Kakodi and Cameron Fair to take their first victory in the championship. Winning here at the final round and being a key player in the outcome of the championship. Sadly, it wasn't for his own gain, but next season he would surely be a major contender in that battle for the title. So confirmation of the results here on the final round of the Pro Tire Motorsport UK Asphalt Rally Championship. Jason Pritchard taking victory by a single point over Damian Cole, with John Stone and Alan Kakodi in third and fourth place respectively. The winner here in October, and you must be over the moon. Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. I wanted to go away out of the championship with a podium, but to get a first place overall has been amazing. And you've been a massive spanner in the championship cogs, which has affected the championship ending. But it's fantastic. You've won. You must be over the moon. Yeah, delighted. Halfway through the year, once we'd won the class, we decided to go bigger restrictor to try and keep up these boys. And I never expected to actually beat them overall, but excellent. <laughs> David, you've given this everything. It's gone down to the last stage of the last rally of the championship. You needed to take 10. Didn't quite get it done, unfortunately. You finished second in the rally, which gives you second in the championship. Yeah, I think we missed it by two seconds. We had a massive push over those last two stages. Beat the bogey on the first one. Um, oh, we were on the bogey, so we didn't lose anything there. But we lost a, a few seconds to one earlier on. Um, but the, it has, the car hasn't been easy on the last four stages because second gear is, is just about at it. So I've been trying to short shift and, and not use second properly. No, we had a bit of luck. Um, Alan managed to pip Damien at the end, which helped us. But, you know, we've been unlucky today. Again, the car's not run properly and we've had a misfire and we're lucky to get third, to be honest, to even finish. So, um, no, it's been a good year. That's why I had to run and thank the boys to keep us going and keep my head when it was down. Are you going to continue next year and come back? We'll see. I've got the little one now. Uh, obviously, I still want to compete. So, um, we'll see. Have a chance. on tonight. Another championship under the belt. Exactly. Five years, five championships. So, can't complain. Well done. Well done, Jase. Thank you. Ta. Thank <laughs> you.